having so much fun in Montreal, but it started out kind of weird. I got into town, I was walking around the airport dressed as Batman. I thought it's something we had to go through costumes. <laughs> I got to the front of the line, the guy goes, do you have anything to declare? I was like, yeah, I'm Batman. <laughs> I get intimidated by the customs guys, you know, because I'm from New York and it's so beautiful here and elegant and, you know, they look at my passport, they stamp it and they go, all right, you can come in, just don't touch anything. I almost didn't get in the country, because for real, he goes, what's the nature of your business here? I just looked him right in the eyes and I said, I came to find the man who killed my cousin. <laughs> I'm staying in a great hotel. I'm staying at the Chateau de No Polyview Inglés. <laughs> I'm gonna say one thing in French, you ready? Bon Jovi. I love you guys. <laughs> this is fun being out here. I'm single too. That's kind of cool to be in Montreal and single. There is beautiful women here. I had a girlfriend once. <laughs> we had two little, cute little pet names for each other. You want to hear them? I called her my fuzzy little teddy bear. She called me big fat cash machine. I went on a blind date once, that was the worst, a blind date. The worst night of my life. I get all dressed up, right? I'm no prize, okay? It's not the funny part. <laughs> but I picked this girl up, heinous. <laughs> that was her name, heinous. <laughs> to your sister, horrendous. Her Hebrew name was Yech. You guys cheered me up. My aunt just died. Not that sad a story. God bless her, she lived to the ripe old age, 104. We called her Aunt Teak. Her phone number was just the number five. And it was my job to clean out her apartment, right? That's the worst job, you know? So I call my cousin to help me out, my cousin Stu. You gotta see this cat. Cousin Stu is the biggest loser in the world. The guy's 47 years old, right? He lives with his parents, and they live with their parents. <laughs> so my aunt, right, gotta clean out her apartment. I call Stu, wake up, man. I call him up, Stu, wake up. Antique died. Everybody knows how old she was. She was 104 years old, I swear. He goes, oh my gosh. How'd she die? <laughs> she was trampled at a Who concert. <laughs> she scored some bad crack. They found her in Newark. <laughs> Seriously, Stu, her motorcycle flipped over on the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> she died during childbirth, Stu. She gave birth to a 75-year-old baby boy. <laughs> Uncle Murray. Her chute didn't open. <laughs> you know, she really died for real. She turned 104, the whole family got together. We took a vote and we shot her. <laughs> How long can we wait for 5,000 bucks in a coin collection? You tell me, party people. I got bills. They're multiplying. I cleaned that erratic. She had like Moses' yearbook up there. I found five of the original Ten Commandments mint condition. And old ladies are adorable too. I looked in her pocketbook, you know. She had $80 in cash, $10,000 worth of sweet and low. And here's the best part of the story. She has a sister who's still alive, who's 106. We call her Aunt Sester. <laughs> I wanna try something. A little change of mood if you guys will indulge me. I wrote a love poem, can I try on you guys? 
Yeah. Can we, uh, can we dim the lights a little bit? <laughs> Perfect. This is cool. Becky, I said, by Jeffrey Ross. Becky, I said, you're the girl for me. Becky, I said, you're the world to me. Becky, I said, will you marry me? Jeff, she said, my name's Karen. <laughs> I'm okay. I didn't write this poem, bear with me. This is a love poem that my, uh, that my dad wrote for my mom. It's called Enough With The Bread Already. Your smile blooms like a bright summer flower. Your hair flows down like a soft rain shower. Your eyes are like open seas, blue from coast to coast. So how come your ass looks like a truck? <laughs> Enough with the bread already. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But in all fairness, here's what my mom wrote back to my dad in rebuttal. It's called, put a shirt on, you're scaring the children. I love you, and you love me. But you eat like you have five rectums. Put a shirt on, you're scaring the children. Put some pants on, you're teasing the dog. Here's my last one. This is fun. Any dog lovers here? All right, you're gonna like this. This is a poem I wrote for my dog. I hope you like it. It's called Sadie, Get Off the Couch. Sadie, get off the couch. Sadie, get off the couch. Sadie, off the couch. Sadie, off the couch. Good girl. Thank you, Montreal. And now, where we go to church on Sundays, church on Mondays. Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Funerals on Saturdays and back to church on Sundays. It's like, what do you want to be, Tyler? A basketball player. <laughs> really, Tyler, your family only eats Pop-Tarts. How is that going to work out? You're going to lose energy on the